Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We're doing our AI only championship series. We are finishing up the groups round two in our finals. So, yeah, in this group, we currently have Babylon and Gandhi running away with it. Russia's trying to keep pace, but they're struggling a little bit. They don't really have much room left either. Is there any settleable spots? Yeah, there's a couple tiles here. Although, I think Russia's going to have to settle there, and I think uh, Babylon would have to settle there. Although, I don't know, the AI usually doesn't kind of fill in those spots. I don't know. We'll see. There's still a lot of room here for uh, potentially Mali, and it looks like Mali's actually going to go put a city here after they lost when Grand Columbia burned their city down. Grand Columbia also still has some room down here to settle if they want. I don't know why they stopped building settlers. I guess they have another one popping out, but yeah, they I, they, they seem to just kind of stop their settling. And then it actually seems like Persia is trying to come down this way. They never got Sparta, but Sparta is flipping. Who are you flipping to? I'd assume Gandhi. Yeah, with a whole freaking butt ton of uh, loyalty. Yeah, Gandhi's in a golden era right now. Persia's in a dark age. Ooh. Eek, eek. He's not losing anything, but yeah, that could be a problem. And actually, Gandhi declared war on? I think Gandhi was the one to declare the war. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh-oh. And maybe a soon-to-be nuclear power Gandhi. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I, you know, I've never seen this happen before. All right, so Charles Darwin is... Remind me, isn't he... Uh, he gets a bunch of tech via wonder. Yeah, natural wonder tile. Now... Oh, that was one of the other maps we were playing on. Dang it. There was one map in which, like, there was a little, like, area of water here when we were doing our reloading, and it was, like, the uh, Bermuda Triangle, and I was like, dude, that's amazing. Uh, but, yeah, um, this would be a really great spot for Darwin. He can... He actually can't go into that tile, then, can he, though? So, theoretically, it would only count as two wherever you would go. Huh. I wonder if there's a better natural wonder around here. Uh, Signy is only worth 500. Oh, the patent all right there. Yeah, that's 2,000 if he gets down there. Will he? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. So Gandhi's got a massive tech advantage, but he's got some pretty powerful walls to deal with. Yeah, Renaissance walls. So unless he's popping out the tanks, I just don't really see him being able to win. Yeah. Uh, Persia's going to keep settling down here, which is good. I, I really do think they just need to keep settling right now because they're not getting any wonders or anything like that. So their best hope of catching back is really... Because even, like, they lost their religion, too. Yeah. So at this point, honestly, their best chance is just to get as many cities as possible. Russia... I mean, Russia's in the same boat where they could use one or two more. Ooh, we're starting to get some tile flooding. So it's now tier uh, two. Let's see... Yeah, and we do have coal popping out already. So we're going to get Apocalypse Mode here pretty quickly. That is a good point. We didn't think about that. Apocalypse Mode is going to completely wreck with this. And honestly, Babylon should be the one that gets punished more than anyone at this point. Uh, so you're Hermitage, but then you also have Hermitage. Yeah, so you're a little too slow. Babylon's actually popping out rocket sites already. Mm. Uh, I forgot to see what how long we went hold up hold up uh render uh this is the last episode i watched yeah hey everyone brian show brian uh what turn did we end up going to we ended up going to 250 we only did 250 turns all right well i guess we're only doing 250 turns huh why was i thinking we were doing 300 i know we did 300 originally so why did we only do 250 this time what was my thought behind that <laughs> all right what's up bitter mod Start with Babylon, Elnor, Aquitaine. As Trying to listen to what I had to say here. Cyrus with Persia and then Gandhi. Shut up. The best. So what sucks on the game? So, huh? Wait, no, 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 no. This isn't right because that still has Elnor in it. Uh oh, it's finals. Okay, there we go. There we go. I was in the knockout round still. Yeah, we did three fifteen. Okay, this makes a lot more sense then. I was so confused. I was like, wait, what? Why did I only do two hundred and fifty turns? That doesn't seem right at all. Cause this is gonna be over really quickly. And it, it's weird because like I'm used to the reverse knockout rounds being like two hundred turns. So that just really kind of messed with my brain there. So did you end up settling or what happened? I don't know where Persia's settler went while we were distracted. You ended up going northward. Uh, yeah, putting a city up there is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, Peter ended up getting Maui. Um, not really that useful for Peter. <laughs> 
Just gonna say, maybe the worst hero for Peter, <laughs> just because once he has his city, basically doesn't have any places to put, you know, free tiles down. Uh, Panama Canal popping out here for Babylon. Not the worst Panama Canal. Not a great one, but you know. Uh, have we gotten our canal over here yet? No. But honestly, we're gonna get our canal because it's gonna flood. So, I suppose... I suppose we can accept it. We can accept it and not immediately force all these guys to lose and bring in another six. Uh, so Carthaginia, they ended up raising, no, Babylon ended up raising uh, the ex uh, Grand Columbia town. And then Grand Columbia ended up throwing another town here, which is having really bad loyalty issues. And by really bad, he could stop it with a single you know person. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's in a dark age, right? He's in a normal age. Yeah, uh, Molly? Molly's in a golden age, so that's partly what's happening. So he just needs to get to the next era. Yeah, with 10 turns, okay. He'll be okay. Because surely he won't get another dark age. Ew, he might not be okay. Dude, if that flips one turn, I'm, a, I'm gonna flip. Like, just put a freaking governor there, dude. Come on. It's not that hard. Not that hard. Seven turns until we get a nuclear Gandhi. Love to see it. Hopefully we actually see some uranium popping out. Don't you need to have uranium to do the Manhattan Project? Apparently not. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, yeah, you don't, but that 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 is kind of hilarious that you can do Manhattan Project without uranium. Hey, we know how to enrich uranium into bombs. Well, but you don't actually have uranium, so how are you doing it? Um, it's a hypothetical, okay? Uh, so Earth satellites popping out here for Babylon. That's the first one. Uh, just because they're popping out that first one doesn't mean anything. We're gonna have to wait and see if they get like the third. Uh, okay, so we got the Kotoku and the Temple popping out here for Persia. So Persia is trying to get some wonders. A lot of early game wonders just never got built here. Yeah, and you got the Great Lighthouse over here as well, just being popped out. And then we saw the Oracle not too long ago, and there's the Killa. Okay, so yeah, a lot of early game wonders just never got built. Taj Mahal over here with Molly. They really could use that. They really, really, really could. Russia, dude, still no wonders, man. I feel like Russia's not going to be able to hold on to third. Yeah, they dropped to fourth. I feel like they're going to drop further here. Especially if Cyrus keeps grabbing these wonders. Like, if he gets both of these wonders, that's an extra 30 points, man. Although Tarsus is flipping. Uh, 17 turns. He'll be okay. He should be okay. Because India's in a golden age. Yeah, and he's in a dark age. So there's no way that maintains. Like, it's basically almost impossible to go Dark Age, Golden Age to Dark Age, Golden Age again. Like, just to have the same thing twice. So he does have tank armies here now for uh, India, which is going to do some damage. They're, what, 197? Again, 69. Yeah, they're going to do some damage. I, I, I still... I still don't believe that India is going to be able to take anything. And the fact is, like, they're still fighting in neutral territory. They're not even, like, India's not even in Persia's territory yet. So, still a little to go. Whatever happened to your other settler here? Persia. I have no idea. I, I think that town was, no, maybe not. Maybe India stole it and then settled that? I have no idea. No clue. Absolutely no clue what happened to him. Mm, still no cities down there. Let's see what happened in this era. Babylon got a golden age. That's a back-to-back. -back. Everyone else got a normal age. So you should not be flipping anymore. Yeah, Tarsus is no longer flipping. Uh, Carthaginia did end up flipping, and now it's going over to Mali. Uh, Walata is also flipping, though. It's a little slow. Panama is now flipping. Grand Columbia is kind of losing his spot. And ironically, he's given more uh, territory to Babylon. But keep in mind, it is tier three, so, you know... A certain death ball is going to start falling from the sky. And I really do believe, like, I think India's in maybe in a slightly better spot just because they have less, like, uh, cities. So they're less likely to get absolutely completely destroyed from uh, the comets. We weren't planning on toning down the targeted comets, right? We were just going to leave them as is. Yeah, I think so. I do feel like it should balance out because, I mean, it's based on who, like, it just hits a city. So it's just a random roll. So if you have more cities, you're more likely to get hit from the targeted comets. The only thing that really isn't necessarily balanced that way is the other comets if they actually destroy one of your cities. Um, but that's somewhat unlikely because that can then hit any tile, including now also uh, a coast tile. So, yeah, we should do it on lake tile, too. Now that I think about it, I don't know why I never thought about doing it on lake tiles. Now, I mean, obviously, lake tiles are pretty sparse. 
So it's not like that big of a deal, but still. Like, I mean, how many lake tiles are even on this map? Actually begs the question, there's what, one? <laughs> Seriously? Which means there is a wonder to be had right now that no one has. Actually, uh, two. No, no, there it is. Never mind. Hue. No, it's just a Hue. For whatever reason, I thought there was another one that had the 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 the, the wood pillars around it. That wasn't the Hue. Where is the Hue, by the way? It's not Mexico, right? Uh, Aztec Empire. Oh, all right. Is it actually still existing? It was rebuilt six times. The seventh and last sacked and destroyed by Cortez. Great, good job, Cortez. Man. But it was actually built on a lake. It was a terrace pyramid summited by a temple on top. Okay, so why is it in the water then? <laughs> in this game. Uh, okay, let's actually hue a... Uh, I'm gonna actually Google it. Is it TE? Yeah, there we go. Famous, although no longer extinct. Uh, I don't know if that's it. Oh, that's not the Hue. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> it looks as if there's not an exact wonder named that. It just like the the pyramid is just what the 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 T thing. I can't ever pronounce it. The T Kali. That's just like the name of like the building, the pyramid. Is what it seems like to me, but I don't know. I might be wrong on that. I might need someone who had a better verse in history to tell me on that one. Uh, okay, so Persia still holding on to Sussa. Um, kind of sus down there. I hate that word, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why that one just always bugs me. It's like, suspect, just say it. I know it's not an easy word to say, but man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting old, apparently. All the slang is annoying me. Those dang kids and their dang slang, man. In my day, we said cool things like bruh. Uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, so did you, Persia end up finishing those wonders, by the way? Kotoku? Uh, I'm not seen. Get the Itza. I have no idea. I don't think he ended up finishing those wonders. I think someone else jacked him. Because I'm not seeing the Kotoku. And I'm trying to remember what the other wonder was he was building. He was really close on both of those, though, which is kind of strange. I don't think it was the Hue, uh, the, I keep wanting to say Hue now, the, the Itza. I don't think it was the Chichen. No, I thought it was a different one. So, oh no, it was the Al Alhambra, wasn't there something like that? I don't remember, man. I don't remember. Now, we do have the normal wonder. Like, we don't have our wonder mod on, which has, like, 16, you know, versions of all the different wonders. So, you should only see one version of wonders, you know. Um, I don't know who ended up building them. Hmm. But it wasn't Persia, because he's fallen behind now. So, Simone's still in third place. That is a huge gap, though. My gosh, like, that's 500 points. That's pretty crazy. Keep in mind, like, I think Hammurabi now would be first overall, right? If, if the, the differences, I'm, I'm based on the differences, not on the actual point total. So let's see, Hammurabi was 500 and like 50 points behind Russia. So he's at 600 above Russia right now. So yeah, Hammurabi would technically be in first place. Yeah, I wouldn't mind another Hammurabi game. <laughs> And then here comes the claims that this was rigged so Brian could play as Hammurabi again for the third time in like two months. <laughs> We'd have to do something fun with Hammurabi if we're playing as him again. I don't know. Maybe like a no tech, no science Hammurabi, science win. Is that possible? I think it is, right? To win a science victory is Hammurabi. No, no, you'd need some or no campus. It would only be hard once you get to the late game. Because, like, how do you get those last few techs? You'd have to get great people, but, you know, how are you going to get great scientists? You can't. So, yeah, you'd have to steal them, but it would be really hard to steal because you're going to be so far ahead. So, yeah, not entirely sure how that would be possible. Uh, any wars that we can speak of? I don't think so. 
You did end up flipping to Molly. So me, out, Molly ended up coming back a little bit. That was a misclick. I mean, they're, they're not in a horrible spot. They're not doing great, but, you know, they're not, like, eliminated. So they got more than zero. That's good. Oh, there you go. No, it wasn't. It was the Kotoku. I'm just not seeing the Kotoku. I'm not really looking that closely. Because every time I look closely, I tend to just miss it. And then everyone's like, you missed it. It was, like, right in front of you. And I'm like, I don't, yeah. 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 It's hard, because I'm not looking where you're looking. <laughs> also, you know, you might be watching on a smaller screen. I got like a 27 inch right in front of my face, which, you know, should back up a little bit here. Actually, yeah, we're going to back up a little bit. I need to just shrink the monitor a little bit. Not the monitor, but shrink the, the window size. Well, I am playing on a 2K monitor, so technically I'm in windowed mode on 2K. So I am playing only in 1080p, which, yeah, yeah. That's what I usually end up doing on most games now. Uh, the question is, if I do rebuild my computer and I have a super awesome build, at that point, would we record in 2K? Probably not. I just don't see a reason to. Because, like, YouTube... I mean, I don't know YouTube even does 2K. I think it does. It does 4K, I know, but, like, who's watching in 4K still? 1080p, like, it's just, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, the file size is going to be so ridiculously large... And to make it look good in 4K, you're going to have to have such a high bitrate, which is just going to... Oh, my God, those file sizes. Like, you're going to talk, like, what, 15 gigs of video or something like that, probably, to make it look good. I just don't think that's worth it at this point. Yeah, my upload isn't that great. My download speed's great, but unfortunately, I got one of those weird internets where it's, like, what, 250 down or something and, like, 15 up. And it's like, oh, yeah, that's that's helpful. That's helpful. Unfortunately, we don't have fiber available where we're currently at, so. <laughs> Give me fiber, man, my 100 up that I used to have, which was great. Oh, I love that. Although it was AT&T fiber, so it was very hit or miss. I have to say, we're on Spectrum right now, I think, uh, and very reliable. Extraordinarily reliable, except a couple days ago when my upload speed was just hot trash for like three days. And then I ended up going on their website, and they're like, restart your stuff. And I'm like, eh, okay, fine. And then, yeah, that fixed it, which, you know, usually is the first thing. But it's like, I don't know, my first thought isn't to restart the router. When things are working, they're just going slow. You know, I always think about restarting when things aren't working. So, anywho... So what are we doing at this point? We're just kind of waiting for 315 to pop out. Just kind of waiting for 315 to pop. Um, by the way, did Gandhi ever get nukes? No. Literally, oh, he does have uranium. Interesting. So why no nukes, Gandhi? What, because you want giant death robots instead? Those are boring. Give me nukes. Give me freaking nukes. He got bombers. Well, he had planes. That's a fighter. Give me bombers. Give me nukes. I believe in you, Gandhi. And he only has fighters. We don't see any bombers yet. Interesting. That would be hilarious to start nuking. Now, I don't know we ever figured out whether or not pillage districts count towards the score or not. I'm trying to remember. I know I saw the score thing when I was looking through the XML files. I just didn't pay enough attention to it, and I don't remember where it was. I would assume that, yeah... Also, really using your fighter to shoot a military engineer, but uh, modern armor AT right here is going to be interesting. I love the field cannon against modern AT. Yeah, you know, that, that should be fine. Uh, is he actually going to attack the city here? No, he's going to instead go and attack the district. Okay, I mean, sure, they really hate that military engineer. <laughs> They're just like, no, you will die. You will die. So Persia is basically just trying to hold off uh, Gandhi still at this point. Uh, Grand Columbia is losing yet another town. They really need a golden age. They really need uh, Grand Columbia to, or sorry, Babylon to not get a golden age. Man, they were pushed so far out at one point, and now like they're slowly getting knocked back into their own, uh, their starting spot. It's kind of hilarious. It's the slow death of Grand Columbia. Almost tier six. So we're getting close. Russia should be fairly safe from the um, um from the uh comments so their score is pretty well i don't want to say like safe but yeah their score is going to be pretty okay here but you know we said that last time and then who was it persia got absolutely crapped on or no, it was babylon wasn't it that got completely crapped no it's india yeah it was india that got completely destroyed by those comments you know it'd be hilarious spend like 40 turns building a death robot and then have a comment land right on it and kill it those death robots are gonna 
be really bad for Persia here. Yeah. What's the tech looking like here? Gandhi's at 414, so I think he's going for a science victory would be my assumption. Cyrus is at 282, so he's not like, he's not slouching. I do love Peter, 142, 98. Like, just look at that right here compared to everyone else, and you're like, oh, Peter's totally getting his butt kicked. And here he is, like, in fourth place. Which, I suppose he's closer to the bottom than the top, but still, still. Like, the fact that he's above Persia just kind of blows my mind. But, you know, that's what happens when you get a billion... Oh, wait, Russia declared war on Persia, too? Oh, all right. Interesting. Yeah, Persia lost his religion now, officially. This is all Hinduism, Hinduism, Hinduism. Then, dude, I hate the colors. Ugh. Okay. And then some random Eastern Orthodoxy. How did that end up happening? <laughs> but yeah, Babylon just getting ridiculous religious score as well. Like, that's what they needed here, too. He definitely got, you know, the luckiest... I don't want to say the luckiest start because, I mean, he did a good job with it. But, yeah, the fact that, like, everyone over here got the religion and not him. Yeah, he really, 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 really... He he lucked out. He had the most luck in this game thus far. But until the comments start falling, can't really say that. This is actually going to be a little late on the comments, I think. Because I think they were already falling last time and we've not even hit tier uh, 6 yet. So, oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, but, hey, there you go. Uh, flooding. No comments to begin with. Alright, let's get rid of this crap, please. Thank you, by the way, whoever told me that you can get rid of all those by clicking the number. By right-clicking the number and it just immediately gets rid of all of them. Dude, more coastal tile loss. So we've yet to actually have a comment fall. Interesting. That is also really weird that back-to-back -back turns we hit six and then seven. But we were apparently already in apocalypse mode. That, that, yeah, I don't, I, I don't understand that one. That was a little weird. Nani flipped. It got conquered, I think. Interesting. I guess Persia must have taken it. Huh. Yeah, Persia must have ninja did or something. Dude, still no comet. Uh. That was a river flood. What? <laughs> the odds of the river flooding and not being a comet are hilariously low. That's actually, that's kind of great. Like, there's a comet. Like, the odds of that happening are almost next to nil, man. That one hit right here. Did that hit an Indian town? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. Almost destroyed some of the uh, pot and all. Can it hit a natural wonder? That's actually another good question. I don't know. Sus is finally sus and flipping. Uh, Babylon actually got a dark age. I hear it. Uh, all right. Goodbye, Molly. <laughs> that one hit. Okay. Okay. Remember when we said Babylon? It's only been two. It's only been two. Shut up. I don't need your, you know, you know, pointing out the obvious, which is not obvious yet. Okay. Get off my back, straw man. So, missile cruisers. Yeah. Any nukes? All right. So, that one's hitting the coast. That's a very awkward coast style, by the way. Because, like... It really is mostly just ocean. Uh, ah, Hammurabi's got a nuke. Okay. Is Hammurabi wanting to war? No. I'm just saying, Hammurabi. Gandhi's looking at you. Gandhi's kind of sus right now. They were looking at you a little, you know, sketchy, man. They're also being very aggressive and trying to dominate poor old Persia. Am I rooting for Persia? Kind of. Kind of. Uh, okay, that hit Grand Columbia. Was that his capital? I think that was his capital. No, Bogota's right there. Still, that, that definitely hit a city. He's still in third, though. Okay. That one hit Grand Columbia, but that was not a city target. That was not. You know what we really can look here is we can actually pop here. I love how this population lost one. So does that mean the city was, like, population size one? I actually don't think so. Yeah, I don't think that's how that works. We're going to have to actually watch a comet fall and hit a city that has multiple population. And see if it works that way. So a volcano erupted. Dude. I, I haven't changed the number. These are default numbers, man. Kind of rare not getting all the comets pretty much every turn. Or that one hit. 
Uh, that was a four tile one. Didn't really damage anything. Killed some population. I think Sus is still going to flip, though, because he got nine and seven. Yeah, and this is always going to be hard for Persia to hold. They needed Sparta, and then they needed to come settle down here to actually hold on to it. So they just got a little slow. Tarsus did end up getting conquered here by, interesting, by Gandhi. And are we going to see everyone declare war on Gandhi? Interesting. And they're still pushing, man. Specifically... We're wondering whether or not Grand Colum or Hammurabi might come and nuke. Doesn't appear to be so. Nah, it's only Persia that jumped in. Yeah, another river flood. Oh, right in Novograd. So that's 15, by the way. Okay, goodbye, Russia. <laughs> All right, Russia and Persia. First and second last map. Not anymore. Not anymore, for sure. All right, so what did that say? Novograd. Yeah, see, it doesn't even show up as population lost. It just kills the city. It doesn't even show up. It's kind of weird. Um, by the way... Now, okay, so it didn't show us. So that's one district. I mean, you're still going to see some Babylon cities hit. I mean, at this point, I have to say Babylon and Gandhi are lucking out a little bit. Gandhi actually has a pretty large empire now that they haven't been hit by more comets. Uh, he's shooting out the second rocket. I can't imagine. I was going to say, I can't imagine anyone else has a lot of rockets. Uh, they ended up burning down another Persian town. Okay. And that sounds like an Indian town, but that's almost in place of Persia. Dude, Persia. Oh, my God. Wow. Things are not looking too hot for Persia. Uh, Mali still doesn't have Nani back. And that's not going to help speed it up for sure. Dude, I can't believe they burned him down. Oh, man. Those death robots are all weak, though. So if there's one good thing right now for Persia, it's that the death robots are struggling. The downside is next era, going to not get a golden age. Okay, Hyderabad is gone. So India finally got punished. Now, in the scheme of things, you know, they still got a huge advantage. They're 700 points up, basically, almost. So Gandhi Hammurabi should be first second, unless they get really punished by the comments here. Over the next, what are we looking at? 30, uh, 5, 6, 7, 37 turns. Oh, uh, Gandhi with another blackout. Okay. Yeah, we said it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. They've dropped. They might have been in first place at one point, but yeah, they dropped at least another 30 points off that one. So yeah, I mean, we said this was going to happen. Straw man, where you at now, huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't hear you sitting there talking crap now, straw man. Well, but Babylon's still there. Shut up. It's gonna happen. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. They will get whacked. They will actually lose a city or two here. Um Panama did stay with Gran Colombia. Santa Marta is full loyalty here. Gran Colombia could really use a golden age right about now. Just throwing that out to a Molly Dark Age. Yeah, synthetic tech. Okay. Another volcano. Where is it? Uh, just hit some Mali territory. Nothing major there. It's it's kind of a fun game as soon as I hear the comment. Where is it falling? Where is it falling? Tarsus is actually flipping. Now, yeah, there's no way Persia is going to get a... The best they can hope for is a normal age. They're not going to get a golden age. This lost two towns. There's no way. Uh, that was a targeted one, and that one just hit uh, Hammurabi. But that was not a great town. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. It was a targeted because it said one tile wide, so that had to have hit a city. And those don't hit coast, so. I don't know if I can actually make those hit just coast. Uh, that was another targeted one, so that one ended up hitting uh, Mali. Mm-hmm, and I think that was a Grand Columbia city originally, right? So Santa Marta is no longer flipping, so he's got that going. Well, all right. <laughs> Persia's like, oh, no, we're going to get last place. And then, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Molly is like, hold my beer. Okay. Okay, and I also killed a death robot. All right, India. All right, India. I mean, I kind of feel like justified because like India just getting their bug kicked right now by the comments. It's like, that's what you get. 
<laughs> How dare you be aggressive, Gandhi? You're supposed to be the peace man. Dude, this is actually two games in a row. Gandhi's just like hated by the comic gods. Dude, what is with Molly right now? Molly has Gandhi 2.0 from last game, though. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Look at this crap. He's lost two cities and he's had what? One, two, three, four comets all in this area. Oh my god. We almost have a canal going through here. Oh, 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 oh. No, it's Grand Columbia. Okay, dude. We have so many targeted ones. Wow. Dude, what is with all the targeted ones? So, yeah, 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 he's still not gotten punished yet. It's coming. There's still 30 turns left. There's still 30 turns. It's, it's, it's coming. It's coming. And yeah, we're at 30 minutes. We really need to do an extra 30. Ah, that was not targeted. But that might actually kill the AT, which is going to be really sad. Now nah, he lived. Okay. It's like, he kind of needs that, just to be honest. Although, isn't the best thing to kill death robots planes? I think so. I think that's the counter. I really still feel like AT crews should be ranged. Just because it's like tanks are so much better. And AT crews just, they just don't scale well. And then they're not good against death robots either. Uh, that was a targeted one. Yep, okay, so Hammurabi lost another one. Still doing pretty good though. Although, wasn't he at 17 something? Maybe not. Uh, no one's really close here with the rockets. Special session, I would assume that's a nature one. Uh, solar flare is gonna stop anyone from actually winning the game. Religious emergency failed. Aid request to Gandhi. Sure, yeah, you know, because Gandhi needs it. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. Did did Persia say yes? Oh my god, he did. <laughs> Man. Oh my gosh. Literally just got completely destroyed by India. And he's like, yeah, you know what? I feel kind of bad. He lost a couple cities there. Um, okay. <laughs> Poor Molly. Well, I'm starting to believe that Molly's going to have a very hard time winning the game. Kumasai just got defeated. Where was Kumasai? I don't think we know. Uh, is that going to kill the city? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> These comets! They're target. They're just going between India and Mali. Like, all right, one for India, one for Mali. One for India, one for Mali. All right, so we're trying to find Kumasai here to see who ended up ninjaing it. What? <laughs> okay, that was technically originally Persia, but still, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my God, Gandhi's gonna go from like second to last at this rate. What the heck game? Oh, I'm dying over here from these comets. Is that gonna kill another city? Okay, good. I'm like, dude, it's getting a little, uh, little uh, psychotic here with the city kills, man. I still don't see Kumasai anywhere, man. I'm wondering if it got hit. It might have been commented. I thought we'd been tracking all the comets, but we might have missed that one. Uh, okay, well, that's in empty territory. I don't think there was any, like, there was no, like, random isles around anywhere. Like, I feel like it would have had to have been in this territory over here. I just don't pay enough attention to the city-states when I'm not playing the game. It's kind of like, oh, right there. Babylon took it. Well, he needed it. He lost the one city, so he was like, nope. I need my points back, man. Um... Hit Persia, but wasn't much of an impact because it's not much Persia left. So, okay. Okay. We got a basically a thousand point lead right now, Hammurabi to Cyrus. That's kind of crazy. I don't know where that was. Ah, uh, down here. Didn't make much of an impact. Now, here's the funny thing. India has been absolutely destroyed by these meteors, but they're still doing really good because... Their capitals, like where they have all the wonders didn't get hit, so it wasn't that big of a deal so far. They basically just lost outlier cities, and then Tarsus, which wasn't even theirs. Still waiting for Babylon to get whacked here. Uh, zero tiles in its path. I was going to say, that's probably a coastline one. There's not that much coast on this particular map, because we are playing Pangea, so yeah, coasts are going to be a little bit rare. Uh, last era here, Molly got a Dark Age. Uh, normal age for Persia. India got a golden age, as did Hammurabi. Exactly the opposite of what needed to happen. 
Uh, okay. Still not really helping much here. Mm-mm. Not helping people catch up. Yeah, we, we, we kind of need to see Babylon get whacked here, or they're going to easily pull a victory out of this. Now, I do kind of... Oh, there you go. Now again. And that had at least one wonder in it. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That one was a punishing one. Okay. So, there's still about 100 points up. I mean, it's definitely not like theirs to win, because Gandhi's not too far behind. Simone had an okay first game, right? So he's not super far out of it either. Simone had a 200 point lead over. She's in the uh, napping. Oh, was she being bad? Yeah, she was just kind of like not letting me play. Yeah, please. 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 Uh, not going to hit the volcano. Uh, but anyways, what? It was like a 200 point lead. So he technically right now is 500 points behind. Now we can see that like one bad game can just really screw you. So, and honestly, Persia and Molly kind of had that one bad game that you need to not have. You need to kind of avoid. Uh, that sounds like it's India, but it's coastline, so not too bad. We got to keep an eye on that timer because there's a chance we just kind of forget about it. What happens? Well, if we're close, we'll just have to go back and reload. So we got, what, 20 turns left, give or take? 22. So... If Durr ends up getting whacked here, or is this all Babylon? Yeah, if Babylon gets hit here. Ugh. He's going to lose, what, 15, 30. Uh, 45. He would lose four wonders. So at that point, you know, that's 60 points. Which isn't end of the world, but yeah, definitely is not something you want to have to deal with. Uh, okay, so Grand Columbia lost another city. And Molly got hit again. But hey, guess what? They're building the Petra, which somehow no one has built yet. <laughs> Dude, I don't get the Petra. Also, can we talk about how no one owns Mount St. Michelle? Wait. Oh, it's part of Wallada. Okay. It's just, it looked like it wasn't in any territory here, how the map kind of looked. Yeah, because this is free territory. Okay. Yeah, it was really weird there for a second. I was like, wait a second. How does no one own the mount? Uh, that one hit India. I think that might have hit a city? Yeah, it did. Because there's a city right there. Parker's trying to get in here. I think Emily's doing lunch probably right now. Oh, it's only 11.30. Oh, you're still working? Okay. Okay. You want a closer in your office? Uh, that one hit Grand Columbia. No, that was a city-state, actually. Yeah, that was Cahokia. Yep, I remember that now. The funny thing is, you now got a place to settle. Uh, although it's not... It doesn't count as freshwater like when with our mod. I still I'm I'm really confused why they made it impassable. Like I guess the only reason is maybe with the roads. I don't know, but I feel like they would have been able to do that a little easier. <gasps> Not Babylon, but that was a couple wonders in there. There was at least one wonder there. So they're still hovering around 1500 right now. Okay. Uh we got 17 turns left. Oh, Tuttle, there's another one. Okay, it took a little longer than I was expecting, but yeah, they're starting to get their come-ups, come-up-ins here for having such a large empire. And I don't think Russia, they've not lost the city, and it looks like they've only gotten hit by, like, what, two? <laughs> so yeah, there's something to be said about going into the final era with not a lot of territory. But then again, you know, you could also just be Molly and be hated by, you know, the comic gods. Uh, oh, there's another one. <laughs> Dude, he went from like, wow. Yeah, he's now under 1,500 points. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're still, I mean, personally, I'm kind of hoping for Babylon. I don't really want to play Babylon again because this would literally be the third time in like three months. So kind of rooting against Babylon, but they're also really, really, and I always kind of root against the, the heavy hitters. Yeah, I always like a good underdog story. And Babylon's just so overpowered. I do be believe, though, that they're going to probably nerf Babylon here with this next patch. I have literally no insider information. I kind of hope they don't. Like, I'm kind of mixed on it. I feel like they need to be nerfed. 
because they're really overpowered, but they're also so fun to play though. Cause there's just something absolutely fun about like literally just being able to like min max your tech and get some crazy early tech. Like it's just, it's so fun. It's so fun. So that's why I kind of hope they don't, but I do believe like it needs to be like 90% of the tech or something like that. So you just can't grab a tech that you haven't even researched the prereqs for. Cause I, I, I do believe that's a little OP. Where you're like, oh, hey, look, I just grabbed infantry, even though, like, I don't even have musketmen yet. <laughs> you're like, that doesn't seem right. So Gandhi is actually not too far off first place. Gandhi had more score than Hammurabi, right? In the last one, because Hammurabi was in last. Uh, only by, like, 72... So right now, technically, Hammurabi would still be in first. We got 11 turns left. Oh, Russia finally got whacked. Uh, that one's going to hurt just because of the population. But yeah, it wasn't the worst one for Russia. Where are they now? They're at 765, so they're about 700 pounds down. I mean, it's going to be fairly close, I think. I think I think top to bottom, we're probably going to have about a 400 point difference, maybe. Mali might be out of it. Persia may also be out of it because both of these were really bad games they're gonna have a little bit more work to do oh my god st petersburg Ooh, that might have killed a wonder though i don't know what was right there yeah that was close um but where was molly in the first game uh molly ah no molly was in third i don't know it's gonna be interesting we'll have to put a quick pause here and then add the scores up and then i'll like tell you guys after it i don't know where that one was uh molly again because <laughs> I love how he still doesn't have Nani back either. That's just great. That's just hilarious. Uh, rock bands. I would assume India. I would assume India. Although I do not see any rock bands in India. Mm, I think that destroyed a district for Babylon, but not really that nasty. Yeah, I don't see any rock bands. It didn't fail, so there's one somewhere. Maybe it was Russia. Oh, no, nope, you did. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Who who has the most culture right now? Uh, yeah, it had to be Hammurabi or India with the rock bands. Oh, where'd that one hit? Six turns. I keep forgetting to look at the timer. I got to pay more attention. So no one's going to get the science. Culture is close. Diplomacy was actually pretty close here, too. Hammurabi had a lot of religious stuff, which is what we thought was going to happen. So remember, it should be the start of turn 316. We need the picture. Where was that one? Right there in Russia. Not the end of the world for anyone. Uh, world Congress is about to start. Just getting rid of some of these. Just because they crank up so much and then we can't click on the comment one that easy. That one... Okay, I was going to say it sounded like it was over here. They're, they don't... It, I don't know. I need to have headphones on. Maybe it is like location-based sound, but it doesn't really feel that way. You know? Like, I don't think it's in, like, true stereo. And, well, actually, that's a good point. Is it stereo? Uh, no. See, it doesn't have anything like that. That's what we need. We need 7.1 surround sound on this. <laughs> it would actually be helpful, I'm not gonna lie. Like, especially when it came to, like, rock bands. Like, you'd only hear it if it's nearby, and then, like, figuring out where the crash is uh, for the comments and the bombs and stuff like that. That, I'm pretty sure, killed an Indian city. Um, they're about 140. Uh, Hammurabi's back above 1,500. The funny thing is, basically, no one else is gaining points at this point. Yeah. I'm wondering why. Because they should still have texts and stuff like that. It's not like Hammurabi has that many texts left to grab. So I feel like there should be somewhat of a catch-up. Oh, okay, 314. Let's let's go ahead and get the camera up here. Oh, uh, right on Panama. Oh, no, Grand Colombia. Oh, that's a bad one. Uh, he needed that one. All right, so there's only going to be one more rocket left. So let's make sure we have the right button here. And so we're waiting for 316. And then as soon as 316 hits, we're going to pop open this score. Okay. And it was a river flood. All right, so 1564, 1418, 844, 782, 581, and 484. All right, so let me put this in, and I'll be back in one second. 
All right, so, uh, yeah, fairly close here. So Babylon, <laughs> I wrote down Babby. Babylon's in first place with 2,378 points. Gandhi is in second with 2,304. So there's only a 74-point difference between them. Russia then is in third with 2,154. So uh, Russia's about 200 points down. Then from there, there's a little bit more of a gap. You have Grand Columbia then is 1,856. So they're about 500 points down, which there was actually a lot more points in this round because the winner in the first round was Russia with 1,300 points, where, what, Hammurabi had, like, 1,500? So there were definitely more points in this particular map. I don't know why. Maybe, you know, maybe it was because the comets just were more, uh... Because we had the coastline, maybe? And so less cities got blown up? I don't know, actually. Or maybe there was just more land to settle. Uh, but anyways, Grand Columbia was at 1,856. Uh, then Cyrus was at 1732, so about 600 points behind, and then Mali is at 1611, so about 700 points behind. So essentially right now, it's between Babylon and Gandhi for the win. Uh, so we might have a uh, two-time winner here, uh, but we also might have a first-time winner by a brand new Civ. Now, if both of them, like really, as long as they have a good game, they win. So it's really going to come down to, you know, how well they're going to play here in the last game. So hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, the final round of the finals. Till then, bye everyone.